composition is important for, for every photographer, obviously. Um, but in your work, it sort of stands out as one of the one of the many very enjoyable things about it. And you can stand in front of these pictures and kind of marvel at the, the way you've put them together. Um, and I know a lot of people have asked me over the years, and I don't really know the answer. Um, what? How do you go about taking a photograph? Do you do you think of the composition first? Do you do you, do you ask people to, to move into certain places? Did you ask this guy to, to run through? You know, you know, what's what's your attitude towards that? Well, there's two. Yeah, there's probably many ways of working, but there's two sort of ways I work. One is to literally just walk down the street, and you're kind of a fly on the wall, and just grab moments. You know, there's a child playing, there's somebody sleeping, there's people eating, talking, whatever. Uh, and you're just uh, kind of quickly walking and shooting, or sometimes waving. But there's another way of working, too, which is to, which I think this represents, you, you see a, a design, you see certain shapes, and you understand you, you know, that if th this mural or whatever, and if you could get people crossing over or somebody walking here, something happened that could kind of complete the composition. So in this case, as I was coming around this corner, I saw this, uh, this sort of folk art on the wall, the handprints, and, and I stood there and I thought, well, that's kind of interesting. Then I noticed this uh, other wall on the right, this ochre color wall. And then as I was standing there, people were very busy alleyway. There, there were people coming with things on their head and there were cows and dogs, a lot of things passing. So I just stood there watching and I started shooting. And, and I started realizing this was really a great you know, composition. And I shot for maybe, maybe an hour. And then I went back again the next day same place, same composition, continue to work uh, more. So uh, I, I do that frequently. If I see a design uh, or uh, some composition that I think, because you know you can walk around all day and take a lot of pictures, which are maybe very good, but they're not really special. So when you find a situation or say a portrait or a face or something that you think you really connect with, you really have to spend time on it and get it exactly right. Yeah. So, so, I mean, so, so I'm going to just move on to another absolute favorite, which you, many of you would have seen before, um, which is the fisherman at Welling Armour. Um, presumably, this is much less easy to control because, A, you're in the middle of the sea. Uh, tell us about how you, you, you came to end up with this amazing frame, which is so perfectly composed, as far as I'm concerned. Well, this. Uh, Method of fishing, uh, I mean, you know, it's millions of photographers have shot it. Yeah. Um, so it's not like, a, you know, I, I didn't discover it. But I think what, uh, the way I approached it was to spend time on the situation and try and find the right, the timing and the right, uh, again, composition, the right light. I went in the morning in the afternoon, I went back in the morning over the course of weeks to try and find, you know, the right situation. Were you standing in the sea? Yeah, there was a kind of a rock. And uh, as when the waves would come in, it would literally lift me out of the water. And, and I was never quite sure where I was gonna, where I was gonna come down. And I thought but if it lifts me up and moves me, I might move me off that rock. Did you have the camera to your eyes? You were being moved around. Were, or, I mean, were you sort no, of shooting? No, the, the way I, I would try and brace myself. <laughs> but um, it, it wasn't, sometimes some waves were bigger than other waves. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we're glad you, you, you risked your neck because it's a great picture. Um, so it's very interesting on the composition. So it's, it's two approaches, really, that you work from. I know that Cartier-Bresson um, kind of used more of the two. Well, no, the, he the, was. The, the, uh, the, the latter. I mean, he's famous for it. Um, no, no, he, he, uh, Henri would, would walk down the street and, and shoot moments and, you know, but he would, uh, there, if you go through your, the book, your book, yeah, but his, there's books that, you know, there's pictures that, you know, there's a picture of uh, Lenin, like the five-story high statue of Lenin yeah, fantastic. In, Mo in Moscow, and there's a father and son, and, and I know that he framed up. He waited for that to happen. Waited for various people to yeah. come. I mean, that's. I think it's true that his most famous pictures are, are, are like that. That's the way that they, they, they were shooting. 
Vincent French.